guys, we're Ellen Blair and welcome back to Studio Fowler. Or should we say Studio Flower? As you can see, we are surrounded by some beautiful flowers right now because we are doing a DIY floral bouquet video for you guys. Everyone needs to know how to make their own floral bouquet. They make amazing housewarming gifts or just gifts for your mom or your best friend. Or yourself. Yeah, it's great to know how to do it for a centerpiece for your own dining room table mm -hmm. or something. So we have beautiful flowers here that are from Yasmin Floral Design. And she actually gave us some amazing tips on making your own floral bouquet that we wanted to share with you guys. So these flowers are all very springy and we're gonna show you how to make two different California inspired modern romantic bouquets. And then at the end we have a really awesome and unique way to wrap it all up to present it to a friend. Let's start with the brighter, fruitier one. Yes. Okay, so we're starting off with a kumquat and this is already gonna give us height. So we're already gonna be building a bigger bouquet with this. And this is actually a fruit, so it's a little bit of a twist on your regular flower bouquet and it's also a little bit more modern. So let's add some funness to this. I think you need either these poppies or these tulips. Both. Let's do both. Both? Yeah. The coral poppies or the orange? All of them. Oh, goodness. Make this fun. Okay. Colorful. Remember, Yasmin taught us that we do it in odd numbers. So yep. three, five, or seven when you're adding the flowers in. And what's awesome about this is we're actually using three different kinds of tulips today, but you can see how using the same flower, just different variations, you can get a really wide array of different kinds of flowers. So do you want to add this ranunculus? Ranunculus? Or if you want, like, redonculus? Or if you want to add two, it's ranunculi. Okay, yeah, so those flowers are really beautiful. Did you want any more peonies? I'm gonna I mean, add um, another poppies. Kumquat. Oh, that's a little baby It's stem. a baby one. We're gonna have this one cascade a little bit and trim Ooh. it. Ooh, yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. Should we trim the bottom? Yeah, go for it. We're gonna find the shortest stem and then we are going to cut them all evenly on a diagonal line. And then we're just gonna tie this off. So we have some twine right here. We're just gonna tie it in a little bow because we love bows. Look at that! Oh my goodness, how pretty is that bouquet? So yeah. cute. So still sticking with the same spring theme, I'm going to pick out some other flowers from the table that are going to make it a little bit more romantic and maybe vintage inspired. So these flowers right here are Pieris and they are made to be a little bit more cascading and a softer feel. So I'm gonna make mine with more muted colors. Since yeah, muted use some of these bright. sweet peas. Yes, these I are love so those. Do you like little clusters? Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so here will be some odd numbers. Odd numbers of three clusters. clusters. Three clusters of three to five. That's perfect. Ooh, this is already pretty. Look at this. And also let's add some dark ranunculus. Yeah, I Redunculus. love this maroon color right here. This is so yeah, it's beautiful. one of my favorite colors. This all together, this just reminds me of like a rustic wooden Romance. Fairy tale forest nymph wedding. Yeah. I feel like it needs one more flower. Let's do maybe like this one. Yeah, I like the light and the burgundy color that ties that in. So these are double petaled tulips. Beautiful. And they're beautiful. Ooh, can I three of them? Yeah. And then it's time to cut it. I'm gonna so, cut your fingers off. No, so there's the short one. So just make sure that you're trimming at an angle. And now I'm gonna tie it because she got to tie mine and it's only fair that I get to make this bow. This is such a pretty arrangement. Like, if oh, you came to my housewarming party with this, I'd be like, I love you. And something that Yasmin taught us today that I thought was really interesting is instead of just using brown plain paper to wrap up your flowers or even those little plastic things that you get from the grocery store, use wrapping paper and it will give a unique personalized twist on your bouquet. So you wanna take a rectangular piece of paper and go ahead and fold the corner over just like this and then lay your flowers down on the corner and kind of wrap it around. Depending on how big your paper is, you may have a little excess, but that's okay. And then tie it with a little bow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You don't have to use the exact same flowers as we did, but you can take some inspiration from this video for your own DIY bouquets. And if you enjoy these Studio Fowler videos, then make sure to subscribe to this I Love Makeup YouTube channel. We have Elle's Shimmer Showdown over here, or our healthy power snacks over there. Bye. Bye.